How are we going everyone? With all the excitement in the gardening out here, I've forgotten to do my spraying for fungicide. That's the leaf killed on peaches and nectarines. And I've been mentioning it to you in the past that around 20% leaf drop, that's for the first time. We've got a little bit more than 20% falling off here. So I have missed the first run, but I've still got plenty of time to get onto the second one. So, and the third one. So what we do is spray the tree with a bluestone base. I've got it down here, I'm just getting it ready. Here we are. <coughs> We've got bluestone, part one and part two here, we're in hydrated lime. Now the hydrated lime is a spreader and it ha helps the bluestone to actually stick to the plane. So the mixing rate is basically two teaspoons of this hydrated lime, one teaspoon of bluestone copper sulfate, not oxychloride or hydroxide. And if you don't know what that is, that's basically a product that's pre-mixed or ready for you. You buy it in a retail packet, pay about 20 bucks for it, and you freak out because it's only going to give you about 10 litres or something like that. This here will give you probably 50 litres at least, I think, um, out of the mixing rate. So you mix it yourself like that, you get it in raw parts like that, raw material, available on, on our website. I think they're running a special on them, something like about six bucks or something for the two. Um, it's, it's dirt cheap and it does a world of good. Now, what does it do? It stops the spores because the spores are active and they actually nestle on the bark itself, on the cracks and crevices, especially during the cuts. So they'll enter through the tree when you do your insertions and cuts. So you cut your tree back. If you've done that already, and I did mine in summer, so I didn't need to because the sap flowing, so the cuts where they've, I've done have healed by the sap. But now in winter or autumn winter, when I do another cut, I need to give it a good drench to heal and seal all those, especially where the nodes are here where the leaves fall off, they're all exposed. You've got to protect that, and that's why you need to do it to the point of runoff. When it rains, there's not a millimetre in the air that doesn't get covered by droplets of rain. And that's the same thing when you're applying it, and I'm going to demonstrate that now. So for now, what you need to do is make a mix like this and spray it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the water. I filled my bottle up to know that's how much water I need. Now I'm going to mix it separately like this. So a teaspoon of bluestone. I'm a bit fussy with my flat teaspoons. That's about enough into the base. Before I wet my spoon, we'll put two teaspoons of hydrated lime. One. These can be heaped like that too. Now you really need to agitate this well so it blends through. If you find it doesn't dissolve properly, I've done this enough times to know how to dissolve it. If it doesn't dissolve, you can actually use a little bit of warm water. It helps it dissolve through. So it's dissolving. Now, these are powder solutions, and our spray, our easy hand spray is the best way to apply it. I haven't installed it on mine. When you buy one of these, you get a little filter. Actually, it's called the net. It sits on the bottom of the little spray hose here, or the hose itself, to stop any sort of sediment or particles getting up and caught inside. And that can cause a little bit of a blockage. It's really easy to fix, but if you get that problem, you always email us and I'll show you how to run through it and troubleshoot it. Now, I'm gonna try and pour this in here, so bear with me, folks. I didn't have my little jar to... Oh, look how good that is. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic. I thought I was gonna spill it everywhere. And just make a bit of an adjustment. There we go. Now, spray to the point of runoff. I said that before, it means drench it so it's dripping at the end. Not one of these. And stop. If you do that, don't come running to me and telling me it's not working. You're getting leaf kill on your plant because you need to apply it every month. So every month from now on is what I need to do so I could prevent this from getting leaf kill. Last year I got it because I didn't spray it. So this year I'm going to give it a go and make sure I get it right. And this is what I've been preaching. I'm going to try and practice it as well. So to the point of runoff, adjust your sprayer so you can get distance into it like that. Look at that. One litre should disappear on this plant with no problem at all. Now, Jack, you're in the point of spray, mate. Get out of the way. Come on, get up. Get up, good boy. You need every little square millimetre drenched. The branches, the leaves. Look at that. I have just used it all up in real time here, folks, for you to appreciate what I'm talking about. Done. 
the bottle is a little bit longer than my straw so I can't get to the bottom of that. I'll save that and make another mix for later on. This is point of runoff, it's dripping. That's what you need to do. So if you've got leaf kill problems on your peach or nectarine tree, get the bluestone copper sulfate or as we've got it on our website, the disease control pack. It's available, it's cheap, it's easy to make and an easy hand sprayer just like this and hopefully you don't get the problem so you can enjoy some beautiful fruit. And don't forget to like and subscribe us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram so you can follow us every day with great gardening tips just like this and Mama's great recipes too. From Eva Silly, Maresi. That's Vasilisgarden.com. Get your disease control back today.